And over on the far side, maybe needs the binoculars to see the 1500 meters women are lining up for, again, what promises to be a, a, a race, perhaps set two races, because Faith Kibiegon, who we're going to see in a second, Sinclair Johnson, who's had a great year, big step forward for her, but she'll not be, I don't think, expecting a hang on to Faith Kibiegon. Meshesha might try to go with it, won the Diamond League early in the season. Didn't perform too well at the World Championships. Jess Hull was, uh, has had COVID and just trying to find her best form again. But here we go, Faith Kip Yegon, who, again, pretty much as expected. It, it wasn't a case of destroying the field. She had a good race for, against Sigai. Laura Muir picked up the bronze medal there. Adele Tracy, incidentally, running for Jamaica here after a new, another new personal best at 1,500 metres. All of these women will be thinking, do we go with Faith Kip Yegon? Because she's been asked, or she has asked, to go through in two minutes two, which is world record pace. And don't forget, the world record is <laughs> set here, 2015, Genzebe de Barber, 3.50.07. So essentially, Faith Kipyegon is going to try and run sub 3.50, the first woman who would ever do that. It's a tall order, it's a very tall order. She would have to run a second quicker than she's ever done before, but that's what she ran here last year, just outside 3.51. So the women's 1,500 metres. Faith kept here going against the clock, we think, here. Well, the issue, if you're going to go that hard and that quick and that fast, is having pacemakers who can take it out quick enough and make sure that you can keep that going through 800 meters at the very least, and 2 2 is uh, you know, you've got to be a decent 800 meter runner to go through at that pace just and then stop, never mind anything else, then to keep going. And Kip Yegon's just dropped off perhaps a little bit sensibly, thinking uh, they're maybe going a little bit quick here. Well, well Steve Arrot took uh, the men's 1000 out, maybe a little bit too quick, 51 seconds, remember the first lap for them, and uh, they take them field through 300 meters here and about 45 that is a little bit quicker than 62 second pace but that's okay you always expect the first 300 to be a little bit tasty just to get it set up nicely and she's running this like the men tend to run their 1500s these days this is almost like um inga britson she's just going to try and survive from the bell she almost looks as though she's getting quicker but the lights are just imperceptibly just moving a half a meter a meter away from her she knows she's got to try and keep on this use the lights it's a massive aid these days she's come to the bell it's so quick 249 there they're about to the bell faith kip Yegon completely on her own griffith in second place at the moment Meshesha just trying to follow her but they are so far distant now down the back straight faith kip Yegon will be trying her best but those lights are just moving away but she can lift it in the last 200 perhaps better than De Barber managed but it's the lights are set at an even pace if you like but she's got a chance here she's got a great chance don't forget the world record 350.07 Faith Kip Yegon of Kenya the Olympic and world champion has got a great chance of doing this. She's picking it up again. She's finding a little bit extra. The crowd are on their feet in the home straight. This is going to be so close. Faith Kip Yegon trying to break the world record. It's her versus the clock. The last 30 metres, 20 to go. She's going to be so close. Watch the clock. She had it. That is the second fastest time of all time, goes without saying. But what a performance from Faith Kip Yegon. Had to run the last, what was it, 600 metres at the very least on her own. And as she came down the home straight, she could see the lights. She was right on it. She just needed another stride or two to get up there. But nonetheless, 350.37, and you don't get too many chances in your life to break a world record, particularly one that's as difficult as the one that she was trying to set here. So hats off to Faith Kipiegon, a brilliant piece of distance running all on her own.
nearly did it. Nearly was so close, Tim. Oh, 0.3 of a second off the world record. There she is on her own from 600 metres out at El Tracy. And the first pacemaker, Ali Wilson, did a wonderful job. It was just a bit beyond her. If she'd had a race on her hands, maybe Sifan Hassan or indeed a Dibaba of old alongside her, she might have been able to push for that world record. Beautifully relaxed form from her down the home straight. 350.37, as you said rightly, Steve, the second fastest time in history. Personal best, a Kenyan record, fastest time in the world this year. So near, yet so far. It can be a cruel sport. The clock can be cruel.